Hi guys! I absolutely love reading, but as an adult I feel like sometimes my appetite for reading books can be dampened by just the sheer amount of information I have to read as part of my job, my everyday life. And it's not really until the summer that I start to think about laying out and reading a book. So I, I'm just like wondering how many of you are thinking about your summer reading list and what you could add to it. If any of you have read any books that you really like, let me know because I will definitely check them out. But right now I'm just going to share with you like some books that I've read recently that I think are really good and that you might potentially want to read over the summer when you're on vacation or just tanning outside. The first one I'm going to start with is by Sally Rooney and it's called Normal People. This got a really big Irish writing award. The main characters definitely have problems. Like the main female character, she has a cripplingly low self-esteem that is part of being in a family where she's not really appreciated and a school where she's basically ostracized and bullied the whole time. And then she has a kind of complicated relationship with the most popular guy from school who's a good person, but he sometimes doesn't always do the right thing because he cares a lot about what other people think of him. And so they're like perfect for each other, but they're kind of star-crossed lovers. What it says on the back is Connell and Marianne grew up in the same small town in the west of Ireland, but the similarities end there. In school, Connell is popular and well-liked, while Marianne is a loner. But when the two strike up a conversation, awkward but electrifying, something life-changing happens. Normal People is a story of mutual fascination, friendship, and love. It takes us from that first conversation to the years beyond in the company of two people who try to stay apart but find that they can't. So I would say that this is definitely an adult book. I don't think this is a book for children or for people that don't like any kind of dark content. I actually lent Crazy Rich Asians to a friend that is a really good book. I would say that the movie was excellent, but it really only had like half the content. And it's just like a really fun, hilarious read. And then there is China Rich Girlfriend and Rich People Problems, which come after. What I love most about this series is that, yes, like these people have very interesting lives. They have a lot of money. They travel around. They do things that maybe not everyone can relate to. But the way they interact and the kind of problems that they face are problems that everyone faces because a lot of people have parents who divorced and then they were only raised by one person or they've got some kind of feud in their family and they've got to kind of navigate the waters and try to get everyone back together again or you know we all have challenges in life and i feel like the plot lines don't really focus on the fact that they have money. They're focused on the personal relationships and it's really real. It's raw, it's funny, and it, it's also kind of like heartwarming and moving. Those are all really good books. Then this is kind of more of a philosophical read or if someone's interested in reading a book about leadership or something like that, this would be more that kind of read. It's called Start With Why and it's written by Simon Sinek. And it's just super interesting because it's essentially talking about how a lot of people, they work on solving a problem or they do work at their job, but they don't ever stop to ask like, why am I doing this? So they're basically following other people's instructions, like what everyone has done before them. And there's some value to that. But if you want to be the kind of person that changes the world, you have to start by asking why and maybe being willing to go down your own path. So it's just, it's like the type of book that is inspiring and makes you think about your life and what you do a little bit more. Then we've got A Dog's Purpose, and this is just like so good. It's like happy, it's sad, like you'll laugh, you'll cry. If any of you have a dog and you love your dog, you're gonna love this book because it's basically this one dog and he goes through several sort of like reincarnations and 
I'm gonna like I'm trying not to cry but basically the best part of the story is that in one of his lives as a dog he has the boy and they have like a really nice relationship and then he has a few more lives and then in the end okay I can't even talk about this book without crying because I just love some of the characters and like the dog especially and I'm really an animal lover so if you are too just just read a dog's purpose just do it like if you don't read any of these other books just read this book and then the last one I have I feel like it's a great book again it's like a book for dog lovers it might not be for everyone this book is a lot more boring like I kind of fast read it like this is the kind of book where I have to go read back and reread parts because I liked them so much and I'm like sad that the book is over. This is a moving book but it's a bit dry because it's written by the perspective of someone who is really a numbers driven person. So the way that the story is told is is interesting and it's very unique but for me it was like a bit dry at times but basically christopher john francis boone knows all the countries of the world and their capitals and every prime number up to 7057 he relates well to animals but has no understanding of human emotions he cannot stand to be touched and he detests the color yellow the improbable story of christopher's quest to investigate the suspicious death of a neighborhood dog makes for one of the most captivating, unusual, and widely heralded novels in recent years. Like, it's a really good book, but it's definitely told from a perspective that I don't always understand. So that's it. These are the books. If you've read any of these, I'd love to know what you thought of them and if you have any really good books maybe like a dog's purpose that even just bring you to tears thinking about it let me know i would love to read that book